Hey folks, PK here. Welcome to another episode. So today we're going to try to uh, catch some shad. And I was invited by uh, Nick from Northwest Open Season. Be sure to check out his channel. I'll put the link in the description below. He said he did good last time, so hopefully we um, you know, have the same luck today. Morning, guys. Morning, PK. How are you, man? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Good to see you again, buddy. N nice to meet you. Yeah. Good to see you Made again. It. Made it before us too. Yeah. All right. Up at two? Yeah, no, I got up at three. Three. Yeah. You're sleeping in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I've never been to this park before. Where do you guys normally fish? Just head straight down here and there's pretty much a big stretch of probably like a hundred yards of okay. just gravel. Yeah. It tends to be the uh, most popular spot. Okay. So cool. But how long do they run here? Oh, we've done pretty good through first couple of weeks of July. First couple of weeks of July. It's really tapering off, but there's usually so many that right. come in that you're still, there's still plenty of fish in the river. And then by beginning of August, it's almost non-existent. Okay. So it, it ramps up. There's like a typical year, from what I've paid attention to, is probably around anywhere between two and four million that come in on Bonneville. Wow, okay. Columbia. So mid-July, they're almost gone. Yeah, they're really dropping off fast. Okay. It's still worth your time to come out. Yeah. Like we've done a couple of Fourth of July videos. Right. And we've done fairly well. We might okay, catch good. Twenty between the two of us, and for uh, two or three hours in the morning. So you guys just cast out there and reel in. Yep. Yep. Just okay. Above the bottom. Just above the bottom. Oh, okay. Because to not snag up. But okay. You will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I expect to snag up quite a bit. Yeah. Yep. Um, there's really no way around that. Is this normal level for this time of year? It looks kind of low. This is yeah. a tidal influence also. Oh, the tide comes all the way up here? Yeah, yeah. all the way up to the falls. Really? So yeah. this is the clactomus that dumps in here. And oh. when it's high tide on the Willamette, this section here will actually back up. Actually, it looks, looks like it's kind of high right now. Well, I think I am ready. Let's uh, gear up and get out there, huh? Sounds good. Yeah. Can Nick tell you what you need to catch him? Yes, I got some jigs, um, some pan fish jigs, uh, 1 32nd, 1 16th ounce jig heads, chartreuse um, grubs. Fish on, folks, finally, after two lost rigs. <laughs> it's okay, that's just part of bank fishing. Oh man, that feels good. Got one, Nick. Jerry's got two, that's my, yeah, I got, this is my first one if I can land him. Jerry gave me that pink jig and that, I think that did the trick. Thank you, Jerry. Oh yeah. Come on, buddy. You're my first shad in Portland, right there. Look at that. Nice. All right. Come on, buddy. First shad. First shad on the pink, Jig head, chartreuse grub. Yeah. Second fish. I thought that was a snag at first. Nice. <laughs> I think I must have beginner's luck maybe. Oh man. Beginner's luck would be bringing up a Chinook. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I know I saw that one. I want to catch that one that jumped. He was huge. Boy, I love how they fight, man. They fight hard. Yeah. Okay. Heck yeah. Oh no. Dang it. I think I played it too hard. Yep. So close, no cigar. That was fast. Just lost one and got another one. He was a little bit closer to shore. Come on, buddy. Don't come off this time, man. Man, I love how they fight. The tug is the drug. 
So you hook pretty good. Yes, got him right there. Just a, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. No, you don't. Got you, buddy. Okay, right there. Okay, all right, there we go, folks. Fish number two. <laughs> I think that's what they like. Nice. Got one, Nick? Got one, my first one, finally. Nice. Sweet. You're on the board. On the board. Feels good too. Yeah. Truck two's pink jig head. Oh, he's a good one. Right there. Was that on the uh, pink jig head? Pink jig head, no grub. No grub. Oh. And that's how it's been. <laughs> they come out right at the bank. No jig head. Huh? I mean, sorry, no grub. No grub. Interesting. Back to just the plain jig head. Yeah. Plain jig head? Yep. Took the grub off again. No, no, uh, no grub? No grub. Interesting. I almost always need the grub on. Huh. All right, folks. Jerry's on. What is this, number three for you? I think so, yeah. Cool. Very nice. What is that? What the heck did I catch? No, sucker. Sucker? sucker. Really? Sucker. What? On the jig? Yep. <laughs> wow. First time for everything. There we go. Yeah. Never seen that before. Yeah. Sweet. You got the magic touch or something. Something. They got they like this jig. Thank you, Jerry. That's crazy. Yeah. There we go, folks. Sucker on a jig. I snagged up, and then the, this guy took it. Okay, buddy. There you go. Boom. He's gone. Maybe that's what's been jumping close to the shore. Got one, Nick? Nice. Time. Like I'm barely reeling it in. Really? Yeah, I think I'm reeling too fast because I'm afraid of snagging up. Yeah. I think I'll slow down a little bit too. That's good. Is that on the same uh, chartreuse grub? Chartreuse grub with the pink head. Pink head, alright. Yeah. From the one that you're bringing in. Yeah. They they tend to follow the shad that's caught on the line. Interesting how they do that. Yeah, he's hooked in the corner, he can let him go. Nice. We got plenty. Yep. <laughs> One of you oh, man. accidentally snagged a sturgeon. Oh no. <laughs> this is a good problem to have. <laughs> What pound test line you got on? 12 main and 10 liter. <laughs> Probably a world world class record. If we get I like to, yeah, I like to see you uh, land this guy. That would be so awesome. Yeah. Gonna be here for a while. I got a game when I can. Even if you can slide him into the shore, at least. Get him. <laughs> oh, he's running. Right there. <laughs> oh, he does. He's not coming in. Oh, oh God. Go oh, no. Getting close. Goodness. Reef. Oh, oh no, came off. Dang. I think if I you brought him in. It very hard either. I think if you brought him in with a 10 pound test, it, it would amaze me. 
it would be really, really awesome. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. There we go. Another one. Kind of a little bit far in between. Maybe about 10 minutes apart. Yeah, got one. Got another one, Nick. Oh yeah. Love how they fight, man. I love the fight. There he is, I see the flash. Oh, nice jump. Pound for pound, these guys put up a really good fight. Oh yes, this is a big one. It's actually a good size. Oh, that's a huge one. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Awesome. Come here. Come here. All right. All right, there we go, folks. That is number three for me. Working my way up. And if you guys are curious about how big these shad are, let's measure it. So there we go. That ruler is 18 inches. And looks like he's above that. Probably close to 19 inch. So that's a good size fish. These make really good crab bait right there. Hey folks, if you want to get into shad fishing, then Oregon is a great place. You can catch them in the Columbia River as well as the Willamette River in Portland. Further south, they also run in the Umpqua River. Their run is actually pretty short and it starts in mid-May and runs into around late June in Umpqua River. On the Columbia River and the Willamette River, they run into the first week of July. I don't eat shad, but a lot of people tell me that they can be pickled and smoked. To me, they just have like a really strong smell, so I'm just not into them. But I use them for crab bait, and I found that they make the best crab bait ever. They actually work better than chicken, in my opinion. For the gear, you don't really need a lot. Um, for the rig, all you do is set up on a Carolina rig. And I use a 132nd ounce uh, jig head with a small grub, like a chartreuse grub. And a 1 ounce weight. And that's basically it. It's very simple. It's very easy to set up. Unfortunately, with like most river fishing, you're going to snag up a lot. So... Um, come prepared, bring extra rigs, bring extra weights and hooks and jig heads because uh, the bottom of the river, there's a lot of snags, a lot of rocks, so you will lose quite a bit. You know, best thing of all, they're free, um, you know, f basically they're free bait, so it will save you some money and uh, they work really well for crab. And they're also, to me, they're also a lot of fun to catch. They fight really hard. I haven't done a lot of shad fishing. My first time was last year on the Umqua. Uh, I went, uh, Gavin and Scott invited me, um, and I had a lot of fun then. I learned a lot, so I want to thank those guys for getting me into shad. And this year, this is my second trip ever for shad, and uh, had a lot of fun with Nick and Jerry. All right, folks, so that is about it for me. The bite has definitely slowed down quite a bit when we first came we were doing pretty good yeah yeah and there's For a gentleman a yep a gentleman way over there he did really well too um that was about six o'clock and then to about maybe 8 30 ish um we were catching fish i got three right here so it's not a bad day i'm not skunk i'm pretty happy i want to thank nick and Jerry for bringing me along. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, we'll definitely have to do it again sometime. All right, so uh, we're going to end it here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have fun fishing, tight lines.